All right, good morning everyone again, uh, whether you are here or remote. I will uh, hopefully, can folks in the back hear me okay? All right, I will project a bit more. So welcome. Um, please do share your energy with us by uh, welcoming Diane to the podium. Thanks, everyone. Um, I'm going to actually just quickly uh, do a, a welcome to everyone. And part of my welcome is, is actually a lot of thank yous. So first of all, I'm thankful for the weather. I'm thankful that the Hurricane Lee passed us and we don't have any uh, anything uh, bad happening. I, I always advertise uh, September in Boston as being like the best month. And I got a little worried last week when like a hurricane started coming our way. So, um, so, so I'm, I'm thankful for, for a lot. Um, I find myself complaining a lot. The, 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 the um, pandemic kind of put me in a mode of like just complaining about everything. And so I'm trying to like turn a leaf and like look at the, the bright side of things. So welcome. Um, we had a record 406 registrations this year, which is amazing. Um, there are a lot of people on Zoom, and I know there'll be a lot more people uh, moving in. This is really a, um, you know, a, a testament to uh, the community and community coming together. So, um, so really, really grateful. Thank you for, for being here. Um, again, thank you. Thank you for our event sponsors, uh, DBMI, for providing um, the food and the venue for this, and Harvard Catalyst for providing a lot of the logistical uh, support. So that was really wonderful. We also have um, a cast of fantastic uh, sponsors that help us uh, either in kind uh, with a lot of the work we do or financially. Um, I will point out uh, Dell Technology for helping us um, do a lot of the advanced work that you'll hear about today. So thank you for everyone. If you're interested in becoming a sponsor, just let us know. Um, we'll be happy to take your, uh, your support and your money if you'd like to provide that. Um, we have a fantastic board of directors uh, in place. A lot of the original founders of I2B2 um, continue to be on the board. We've got people from industry, so we have a really nice mix. A few people from industry that help us um, really think through our, our strategy and what we're doing. Um, we've got a number of people from the European uh, community on the board, and now a mix of also additional um, board members that are from academic medical centers across the US. So a really a different, a very different board um, has been formed. So I'm, um, I'm really grateful for, uh, for these folks and their guidance. Um, can people hear me okay? Am I good? Am I good? Okay. Um, all right. Of course, thanks to Desiree and Mark for helping us, uh, you, you know, organize this event. Um, I certainly could not have done this um, without them. Um, I2B2 continues to thrive. This, you know, we are, we're open source, so it's really hard for us to, uh, to know exactly uh, all of the organizations that are using um, ITB2. Um, I'm always jealous of Paul Harris and his, with REDCap and his slide of, of REDCap, the, the worldwide uh, uh, picture that um, shows like all of his organizations. Um, and we, we, he's not, they're not open source and we're truly open source. So it's really hard for, for us to know. Um, I do know that there was over 500 people last year that downloaded the software. Um, so I, I think we have a lot more than um, is actually shown um, on this uh, slide. We've done a lot of work in India over the past year, trying to promote uh, the, the adoption in India. Um, that's moving. Um, it's, it's, it's a, it's a very different uh, community out there, a different world, but I think that's going to continue to, um, to move um, as well. So the, the focus for today, and I'm, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, but we're, we're trying to do two things. We're trying to focus on what we need to do today to enhance I2B2 for the, the users that, that we have in place. So you'll be seeing a, a new user interface that um, is rolling out. You know, we're focusing on you know upgrading our documentation and and doing a lot of uh, you know just basic work that isn't really exciting but it's really important. You know, expanding the reach of I2B2, so interoperability with different data models. Um, but we're also planning for the future, and so you'll hear a lot about our digital twin, the work that we're doing around digital twin, and also large language models. And um, you know, thanks to Dell to providing grant um, funding to support that um, future development. So 
I'm almost at the end of my welcome logistical um, comments. So we do have a conference room on the first floor, um, A116. If anybody needs to get to a conference room to take a call or join a meeting, um, we, we, we have that uh, reserved. Um, there's bathrooms on uh, at both ends of this floor, actually all the floors. So if, if you at a break, you're, you know, there's a line, you can just go down the hall and you can find more. Um, coffee, water, tea will be available um, at all breaks, but if you need a soda pop or something in the middle of the, uh, the conference, there's a cafeteria on the first floor. Um, and also, if you want to join, if you want to, you know, there's, there's a lot of good conversation in the, the chat. We have a lot of people um, uh, you know, on, on Zoom right now. So if you want to join the, the webinar, um, you can. Uh, the link is at, on the ITB2 Transmart Foundation website. So if you want to look at the questions and, and also look at the chat or, or even, you know, uh, add to the chat, um, feel free to do that. Um, we're really, 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 we, 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 because there's so many people that are remote, we really want to make sure that we organize this and make this a good experience for the remote user. So there's microphones at the two ends. If you're gonna ask a question, please um, line up at the microphone and speak directly into it. Because if you ask a question um, and you're not using a microphone, then the, the people online can't hear you. So we're, we'll remind you of that throughout the day. Um, we will have QR codes on, actually we do, we have QR codes on the tables. Uh, one will be for a survey. Um, we want your feedback, so please. Um, at, uh, all feedback is really welcome. Uh, negative is good too, because we, we want to know what you're thinking. Um, the session will be recorded uh, and all of the, the slides will be available um, uh, shortly. So you can go back and, um, and look at it again. For the remote users, all right, um, use the question box to ask questions. Certainly you can use chat to add additional information or um, make comments. Um, we're probably going to like focus on the in-person uh, questions first, but we'll we'll try to get to you. Um, if if there's a question that you have for one of the the speakers and it's a burning question and it doesn't get answered, we have all of the contact information, uh, bios and and contact information for all the speakers um, on the website, so you can um, you can reach out to them directly. Um, all the remote users are muted, but if you're asking a question and and we, we can't really understand what you're putting into the, the question box. We may unmute you so you can um, so you can uh, talk. And that's it. Thank you for attending. And I am going to um, turn this over um, to Griffin Weber, who's going to introduce our keynote speaker.